Some of you may remember a short-lived VH1 show called Supergroup from 2006. The premise was to take five musicians, lock them in a house for 12 days, and have them come together to make music. The five musicians chosen were Ted Nugent, Scott Ian, Sebastian Bach, Evan Seinfeld, and Jason Bonham. The band born from this TV show was Damocracy. Never heard of them? Well, that's because they only ever played one live show for the season finale. Ted Nugent recently spoke with the Sofa King Cool podcast where he was asked whatever happened to Damocracy. Why didn't they make more music after the show? Nugent said, Sebastian Bach, I love the man, but what a goofball. He is so dedicated to hiding from Sebastian Bach. I mean, he's made some really nasty, stupid falsehoods against me. And I still love the guy. He's gifted with one of the most amazing voices in the history of the world. But his propensity to scramble to escape himself with the drugs and the alcohol? It's a self-inflicted curse I've just witnessed my whole life that is inexcusable. Democracy, Jason Bonham, Monster Talent, Great Man, Work Ethic, and all the guys. Scott, Superhuman, Super Musical Force, all of them, fun to be with. Even Sebastian, even though he was always losing it, but it was fun, and it didn't happen because it was too programmed. With those more powerful talents, Evan, Jason, Scott, and all of us, we loved the music. We wanted to make music. I think in the case of Sebastian, I think he wants to be more of a pop star than a music guy. And so he was like a kid in a candy store, surrounded by all these musical forces. And again, he's a musical force. It's just that he tends to go on the transparent, poppy rock and roll star side. And if you want to be a rock and roll star, you're not going to be. If you want to make great music, you're probably going to be a rock and roll star. Big difference. Nugent did go on to say that if given the opportunity to do a similar TV show like this again, he wouldn't. He says it was too much of a hurry up and wait kind of thing. But back in 2019, Sebastian Bach was asked if there were any recordings of Democracy that people could hear, and Bach's response seemed to blame it all on Nugent. Bach said, that session exists on my laptop. Ted Nugent didn't want to make that a real thing. He's got way too many animals to kill. On top of his list are squirrels, rabbits, birds. Get them all. That's important. You can't go buy one at the store. You've got to kill your own. I'm not against that, but you know, I remember when he focused on the music more than that. And that was the Ted I listened to. I've got to go kill squirrels, Grandpa, and then post a picture with a little kid. And the kid's like this, I don't want to kill a buddy. Like, God, chill out on the murdering, dude. Ease up on the murders. Okay, I'm going to get in trouble for everything I just said. Which is probably what Ted Nugent was referring to when he said that he said some pretty crazy things about Nugent in the past. And if you want to try and find Democracy music, there were three rough demos of songs titled Take It Back, Ultra Live, and Edge of the World that many years ago were on their MySpace page. However, you are still able to locate some of these rough recordings on YouTube. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.